Hi, my name is Leo, and I'm a technical consultant for LinkedIn Learning. Today we will be showcasing how to get up and running as a LinkedIn Learning for Library Admin, and how to configure your SIP2 or Patron verification. Once you're set up, your users will have simple and secure access to all courses available within LinkedIn Learning. As the admin for your account, you will receive an activation email with a link to onboard. From here, you will sign in with your LinkedIn.com profile, and if you don't have an existing profile, you can go ahead and click the Join Now option to create a brand new LinkedIn account. Now that we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and walk through the onboarding experience. From this page, it's going to ask me to choose a category that I want to explore. From here, I'm selecting technology, and then selecting a few different skills that I want to personally develop. After I click Continue, it's going to take me to my LinkedIn Learning account where I can click the Go To Admin option in the top right corner. So this is the LinkedIn Learning Admin homepage where you'll be able to select from several different options including View Courses, View Reports, you can access the Help Center in the top right corner. Now today, since we're looking to set up the verification, we're going to go ahead and click the Manage Settings option. Before we configure the verification, we must ensure the highlighted IP addresses are whitelisted. We would recommend that you work with your internal IT group to ensure that this is completed. Once whitelisted, you can move on to the verification settings. Please note that we currently only support SIP2 and Patron API. First, we're going to take a look at the SIP2 setup. We would recommend working with your integrated library software representatives to ensure that you have accurate information on hand. From here, you're going to input your host and port, as these are the required fields, and any additional information that is required from your SIP2 setup. If your server requires a username and password, you can click the Add Login Configuration option. You can click the Add Checksum button as a troubleshooting action if you're unable to successfully authenticate to LinkedIn Learning. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the patron verification setup. For patron verification, please contact your library management representative for the following. The host, which is typically your library's URL, and the port, which is oftentimes a four-digit number that designates the port. Additionally, you can add an API path, which is optional depending on if your library has this configured. One additional callout is that we will always need the protocol to be HTTPS. Now that you've successfully set up your SIP2 or Patron verification, we can move on to creating a custom invitation link. From this setting, we're essentially going to designate the URL that's going to be used for your patrons to access the library account. The final setting highlights the ability to download course packages. From here, you can actually grab a package via CSV or MARC record of any active or retired courses. You can also get packages for courses updated since the last download. Now that you've configured your SIP2 or Patron verification setup, you will want to validate that it is working as expected. Please work with a staff member who has a valid library card and PIN. By sharing the custom invitation link with this user, they will be able to test the verification process. After inputting their LinkedIn.com credentials or creating a LinkedIn profile, they will be prompted to input their library card and PIN. If there are any failures, we would recommend reviewing the verification setup and to confirm if the host names have been whitelisted accordingly. If you have attempted these troubleshooting steps, and if any issues persist, we would recommend reaching out to your LinkedIn representative. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this overview, and hope you have a great day.